Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. The voice of hardcore boxing. Right, let's get straight down to business. No messing about. Let me just move my pen here. Because this office is now a tip. Right. Yui Fury. Savannah Marshall. Joshua Boazzi. Lewis Ritson, Martin J. Ward, John Ryder, and Callum Smith. What is Eddie Hearn doing for them? Well, so let's back up a bit. He's not got you with your title shot, or Savannah, or Boazzi, or Ritson yet. Martin J. Ward, nope. John Ryder fought Callum Smith, he got him a title shot, but who got Callum Smith his belt? He wanted Eddie Hearn, wasn't it? It were Callis Howland. Is it because these people who we're talking about here, one, two, three, four, five, six, these seven fighters all don't put themselves about on social media, they're just quiet, aren't they? You don't, I've been in, in two camps with Yui Fury and Savannah and being abroad with them, being on aeroplanes, out for meals, spent a lot of time with them. You don't get a peek out of them. <laughs> you can be sat at a dinner table for two hours. They don't say a word. I've been told Callum Smith's a quiet kid. John Ryder's very quiet, although he's a gentleman, I like John Ryder. But Watts is probably the quietest out at lot. Ritson's a quiet lad. You know, he's up north, hard at way. Martin J. Ward, very similar. These, these seven people here are all fantastic fighters, all elite fighters. I know Callum's WBA champion, he's got Ring Magazine belt. The others uh, haven't got world titles, but with Canelo, with Canelo fighting Yuldrim, that means that Callum Smith, Billy Joe and John Ryder are all way out dance partners, so they've all got to fight each other, haven't they? I know John Ryder's fought... Saunders already in his fort Callum, but we'd like to see the one that's fresh in our minds, wouldn't we? The Callum Smith fight against John Ryder. Got to happen. Is it pay-per-view? It's worth a tenner, isn't it? I think it's worth a tenner. I don't think it's a £20 pay-per-view, but I think it's worth a tenner. It's just whether if Tesco Joe's going to go for it, isn't it? Uh, Callum's uh, the guy behind Callum Smith, so I don't know, but... It's got to happen now. John Ryder's got bills to pay, and he, he's never really made a lot of money out of out of boxing. John Ryder, and I feel that he got robbed in that first fight. So that's what I want to see. Oh, what, what are they doing with Yui though? Yui Fury won a, a British title off the champion. Dillian White won a vacant British title, but the difference in Dillian White's career and Yui Fury is Yui don't say a word, does he? Dillian White's in every interview under the sun, he's got Coogan hanging out of the back of him. Yui and they're not, Yui's not bothered like that. Why don't we put Dylan White in with Yui? That's, that's what I want to see, I think that's a good fight. He never calls Yui's name out, does he, Dylan White? He's always calling people out like Chisora and Povetkin and people like that. So, that's what I want to see. I want to see Yui Fury against uh, Dillian White, but maybe Dillian's going in a different direction now. But what is Eddie Earn doing for these other seven people that I've told you about here? What is he even doing for Billy Joe either? What's he doing for Billy Joe? I don't know. Maybe Billy Joe might not help himself at times, but... Lewis Ritson, what, Jordi Golovkin won it at one point. Now, he lost a close decision, and Eddie Earn seems to have packed up on him. What, what's going on there? I don't know. Uh, Martin J. Ward, I'm a massive fan of. W what's he doing with him? I mean, and Boatsy, nobody even knows who he is. I keep seeing Eddie Hearn on these podcasts and doing interview after interview. I know I'm bored to death of it. Joshua Boatsy doesn't seem to be out there, does he? I don't see Coogan hanging out at the back of him. Well, we don't, do we? We see Coogan hanging out at the back of the same old people. Don't we, Coogan? I know you're watching. Shout out, Coogan. Hanging out the back of the same 25 people. But what about all these people here, Coogan? You know, what about Callum and John Ryder and Martin J. Ward, Ritz and Boatsy, Savannah and Yui? When do you go and interview them? You don't. You're hanging out at the back of Billy Joe all the time, now aren't you? But 
What about these other seven? These all are elite fighters. All right. But Eddie's problem is he wants to back people that are not elite, but they've got these great narratives, like Terry Harper works in a chip shop and she's got a girlfriend, and Shannon Courtney, she had uh, substance problems and she put weight on and all that. They're not elite fighters like these, though, are they? All right. They, they've, they've been guided and... I just don't get it, me. Why do we have to have these great stories? I don't know, and it's starting to annoy me now, and the narrative is awful. I mean, that at the weekend, with no interview from Shannon Courtney, the previous weekend, there's no interview from Terry Harper. We've had it rammed down our throats. It's not good. So, all right, so what do you think, the fans? All right, send me an email, porkycorner at mail.com. All right, shout out Harley Marshall. If that is your name, you wanted me emailed, didn't you? Porkycorner at mail.com. Send me emails and let me know what you think about this. You, the fans, all right? Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe, all right? Peace out.